Hey there, if you're looking for a fun and easy way to earn rewards, including cash and prizes, check out the link in the video description. Welcome to Drama Meter, your go-to source for all the latest updates and revelations in the world of reality TV drama. Today, we're diving into the transformation of Jax Taylor from the bad guy to a new persona on Vanderpump Rules. Stay tuned as we dissect the reasons behind his evolution and how it's shaking up the reality TV scene. Let's turn up the drama meter. For over 10 years, Jax Taylor has been a staple villain on Bravo. He first dug his hoof prints into the sand while on Vanderpump Rules. It was there he showed how easy it was for him to manipulate, steal, cheat, and lie like it was nothing. Don't take my word for it, as there is video footage. For the most part, the rest of the cast just took a boys-will-be-boys approach and shrugged Jax's antics off. But more often than not, his behavior was disturbing. Perhaps the worst part about Jax in the earlier years was that he would lie about stuff he knew the cameras caught. So either way, the truth was coming out one way or the other. My ode to Brittany's boob job that Jax picked out hash Vanderpump rules now, before we dive into why Jax never wants to actually look like the bad guy, we have to look at his past behavior. Who could forget the time that he wanted Brittany Cartwright to have a breast augmentation, and basically shamed her into going under the knife? Jax made comments like, If I'm going to help finance this, I want them how I want them, and natural teardrops. Naturalness. All of their VPR friends at the time acted like the comments were just mildly offensive, but we all knew it was Ikey. Jax's ability to do what he did on camera, which was lie until the end and give the vibe that, oh, Jax is just a dumb jerk, was pretty scary. After watching the entire season of The Valley twice, it has become pretty obvious that Jax wants to get divorced, but doesn't want to be seen as the villain. In return, he chooses to not get along with his wife. As I watched Jax act out, it became apparent that he was trying to use tactics such as trying to convince the rest of the cast that Kentucky Muffin had a drinking problem. He thought this would make him look like the innocent party. But the Bravo cameras have caught both sides of the story. Fans have watched Brittany become physically ill over the demise of her marriage which is a far cry from her husband's accusations of acting wasted on tequila shots. The combination of Brittany drinking and hiding her true feelings is manifesting an actual illness. Fans can see Brittany isn't sick. She is just sick of Jax. During a recent episode, Brittany told the cameras, he does this to me all the time. He always puts me down. I feel like Jax is sucking the life out of me. He is sucking away all my sparkle. How much more of this can I possibly take? Brittany admitted, I am starting to realize all the little things I have put up with for nine years of my life. I definitely believe in love, but what if love isn't enough? The Florida native has also tried to shut down Brittany's emotions. While on a date night, she started to cry. And in a move from a league of their own, Jax told her that there basically wasn't any crying at the Mondrian. I can't help but feel that he kind of hates Brittany because he is so mean to her. While fans see Jax as having zero sympathy for her getting sick, he sees it as keeping his cool. Which to Jax, I believe, translates to acting like an adult. But all he is doing is shutting down any line of direct communication. Now, Brittany isn't exactly an angel herself, but at this point I just feel bad going through this intense roller coaster. However, Sheena Shea gave an update on her podcast. The 39 year old shared, I know just from talking to Brittany, she says that she has not thrown up once since they separated, whether drinking or not. I think it was stress induced when she broke out in hives like her body was having a physical reaction. I mean, my body would freak out. Too, if Jax told me, maybe I do need to call her out in front of other people, because then she will get a wake-up call. Even though Jax is trying his best not to look like the bad guy, he is currently in first place for the least liked guy in the group. Tell US do you think Jax wants out of his marriage.